Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is just a quick bonus video for this week, um, and it's pretty awesome. Dave from Gold Bay Pay Dirt, uh, he flew to Denver yesterday. Um, we met up over at uh, his hotel, went to Chili's, and he had a backpack full of these awesome pieces of gold. And I made a video. Dave also made a video, so make sure you check the description, and check out his YouTube channel, so you can see his version. Um, he's filming me, and I'm filming him. So, and I, by the way, I was filming like this with the camera up and down, so the, it's a little bit narrow. I tried to edit it as best I could, but anyway, uh, check out this video. There's some awesome museum quality pieces of specimen gold in there, some giant gold nuggets and everything. Definitely check this out. Uh, one thing, he didn't let me film everything. Um, there's one specific piece that was about the size of my hand, and it was just the biggest, most expensive, not only piece of gold I've ever held, it's the most expensive thing I've ever held. Um, I don't wanna give you an exact number on what it's valued at, but it's um, worth more than two houses here in Colorado. And I held it in my hands yesterday at Chili's. It was pretty nuts. So anyway, um, definitely check out Dave's uh, YouTube channel to see his version of my chopped up video here. Um, he was actually holding his camera correctly, so his video should be better than mine. Anyway, this is from my point of view last night at Chili's with Dave from Gold Bay. That is the coolest. Look at that. That is crystal gold. That's the rarest kind of gold that you can possibly get. And that is a huge chunk. That's a huge chunk of it. <laughs> and this is the small one? That's the small one. And it's not even really that well crystallized, that one. That's the craziest thing ever. It's so cool. I can't even imagine what it would be like to find something like this in nature. It's like, oh, hey, look what I found. Yeah, with a metal detector. So when the metal oh, you found this with the detector? Yeah, all of, everything I'm gonna show you is found with a metal detector underground. So here we are trying to get our cameras out of our face. <laughs> okay, you ready for something that's a little more crystallized? Uh, this one's a little more impressive. A little more impressive? Just right. slightly. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this. He's trusting me to hold this. If I drop this and damage it, there, there goes like, what, 10 grand? And then you sign over your channel to me. That one's, yeah. one's 24,000. 24,000. So I don't want to drop that. And here comes the here comes the waiter. It's not a tip, man, unfortunately. <laughs> look at that, man. That is insane. I don't even want to look at it through the camera. I want to look at it with my eyes for yeah. that. Wait, check it out. That is so cool, man. How far in does that go into the into the quartz matrix there. Is that? A bit, it goes a little bit. A little bit to hold it in? Yeah, and the thing is when we found it, it was only just a tip sticking out of it. And then I've exposed it. I'm actually gonna be starting a video series on how to prepare. Still kind of browsing through everything, guys? Uh, no, I think we're ready. Yeah, okay. Cool. I'm starting a video series on how to prepare gold specimens where oh, that'll when, be cool. when they come out of the ground, they don't look like they look when they're finished. So I've actually got my lab set up and I've got a microscope camera and I've got four or five different cameras all set up and you get to see all the process it is to turn it into a rock that doesn't look like much into something like that. Right, because it doesn't come out of the ground like this, right? right. What does it come out of the ground like? Just a chunk of quartz right. with a little bit sticking out of the top that you noticed. Correct. But you found it with a metal detector so you knew what it was. Absolutely, yeah. We're 140 feet underground where I found that and so when we get a signal it's either a blasting cap or a gold specimen. And I actually have videos on my channel that show the discovery, recovery, and cleanup of some specimens in the ground. It's pretty cool. That is cool, man. Look at that. So wow. this is a lot more in line with what it looks like. So this one has had very little work done to it. Oh yeah, okay. That is still... So when you treat that, it's gonna end up having like an exposed big chunk, right? Yeah. And if you actually hold that one, you'll feel that there's quite a bit of gold weight in that one. And you'll, the, the, one of the things that sets this gold apart is that oh, how, wow. how bright and lustrous it is, even without, like that's how it looks in the ground. It's that super bright yellow. Looks like it's super fragile. It's wow, better. that is absolutely the coolest piece of gold I've ever held in my life. Sorry about holding the phone here, but I got to get this on camera, man. No, that's cool. I knew what was this coming. Is, this is a collaborative video, it's cool. Wow. 
just appreciate you picking me up and taking me for dinner. Oh, no problem, man. Anytime. But look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. Man, we're just nerds. We're rock nerds. Yeah. I mean, I think anybody would look at this and be like, what the heck? It's like a little crystal tree sticking up off the end of my... Oh, yeah, look at that. The crystals form a little Christmas tree on top of that one. That's all crystallized gold. Crystallized. You were right when you said crystallized. Crystallized. Crystalline, crystalline gold is, it doesn't have any definitive geometric shapes to it. It's more random, random patterns where you can see there's triangular. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you can see the triangles in there. Yeah. There's even chunks coming out of the bottom of it. Dude, that has weight. There's an there's About four multiple ounces, ounces of yeah. gold in there. Multiple ounces. And remember, this stuff is not valued at gold weight. This is crystallized specimen gold. This stuff is worth like many times the value of. Well, that's not even a good one yet. Your standards are a little higher than mine. Well, most people don't yeah. get to see the type of stuff that we're pulling. Like it is very highly sought after museums, you know, yeah. after this. Stuff. Right, this is museum quality stuff all day long. This one is where you start to see a little bit more crystallization because it, it you'll see the, the, that, lust, the luster on it. That looks familiar. Yeah, that was the first one that Tony and I found. We found that one on September 16th, 2017, which is about four weeks after we bought the mine. We found this in an old working that they had missed. Okay, this that is... That called the Mini Dragon. Yeah, that's going in the museum. Yeah. Somebody's going to be really happy to acquire this. That's just stupid. What? They're getting a lot stupid. Yeah, the crystals on this one are just second to none. <laughs> what the hell? That one's called Magnifico. Oh, what the... That's insane, dude. That's ridiculous. I don't even want to film anymore. I just want to like look at this. So this one's been treated, right? This it one's has. this one's been. Well, I took the cords off of it, but that's how the gold looks. When you feel the weight of this one, you're going to be pretty blown away. All right. Don't mind if I do. I got it. Oh my god, dude! That is like that's a pound. That's two pounds of gold. How heavy is this? Heavy. Yeah. It's heavier than it looks. Oh my goodness. I don't, I want you to take that out of my hand, dude. Yeah. That is a, that's, that's a house in your hand. A Ferrari in your hand, in your hand. Yeah. And then this is the one that I posted on Instagram today. Oh man. So, all right. And the crystallization on that one is just killer. That's called Sea Monkey. Found it in December of 2018. Remove all the rock and we get all that stuff out of the way so we can get to it. That one feels heavier, but this one looks, they all look, I don't yeah, even know. They're about the same price because of, the because of what it is. The crystallization of all this stuff. Now that is a shiny piece of, dude, that is perfectly crystallized. There's people here and I'm just like screaming. Dude. Yeah, that one is that one is an unbelievable stuff. There's not a piece of that that is not crystal. Yeah. And it's all just little triangles. Yeah, and that's really a, one of the world, you know, world's best goals. I found that one on November 20th. Not only that, but you got the bonus. You got a... Quartz crystal. You got a terminated quartz crystal right there. Yeah. So I, is that double terminated or it doesn't it's matter? Try, it's trying to be. But, wow. And I'm gonna clean that one up a little bit more. That quartz what? crystal will turn, that will be clear. Thanks again, everybody, for watching my video. It's much appreciated. I did notice that 73% of my viewers aren't even subscribers. So if you would like to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.